when we're young, when we're in school, we have these huge, huge dreams. And, and whether they come to fruition or not, uh, it always comes back to, to where your roots are. Well, I graduated in 1988, and I think as an 18-year-old boy, I had a million dreams that were going to take me in a million different directions. My initial dream was to be on the radio. If you didn't know in high school that he was already working in radio, you wouldn't have figured it out because he never talked about it, he never bragged about it. But here's this guy who's student by day and Rick Idle by night. I went on to, to Merrimack Community College and then to UMSL where I studied radio and television and eventually I started my radio career in St. Louis on 106.5 and I started my television career on Channel 11. And I spent 12 years at E! Entertainment Television on the red carpet of the Oscars and the Grammys and the Emmy Awards and I'm, I'm very proud of that. But then I fell in love with game shows. And Currently, I've, I've given away over $50 million in cash and prizes, and uh, that's nice. That's like being Santa Claus every day of the year. Well, I'm most proud of the fact that uh, I've been able to support my family and, and earn a living doing what I've always wanted to do. That's, that's the real gift, that here I am 30 years into this career, and I'm more excited about it than ever before. I don't think there is a more synonymous name in the Oakville Melville School District as far as fame goes, as far as worldwide notoriety than Todd Newton. And think about what the guy did, okay? Uh, he, he's hosted the red carpet for almost every major award show. Okay, that's big. But Jimmy Fallon parodied him on Saturday Night Live. You make it, you've made it when Saturday Night Live parodies you. This is a real thrill because you're, you're not even dreaming of an award like this when you're sitting in those classrooms. When I was struggling with my algebra class, the last thing I thought was I was that I'd be back here in 2019 uh, accepting this honors. Home will always be St. Louis. Home will always be Oakville. And there's that special feeling of, uh, of security and warmth that I get when I turn off 270 onto Telegraph Road and I start to see all my old stomping grounds. And I just get that familiar sense of, of peace that can only come with your childhood home. So uh, I have gone in a million different directions, but uh, all those roads always lead back to Oakville.